this lesson, we will take a look at getting started with Finale Notepad music notation software. For the students in Mr. Query's middle school music classes, this lesson will be helpful in starting to enter your songwriting project into the computer. Before we begin, there are three things you'll need to make sure you have. First, think about a title for your song. Second, think about what instrument or voice you'd like to use for your song. And third, if you're in Mr. Query's classes, you should have your finished written copy of your song following the provided scoring guidelines. Okay, let's get started. You want to make sure you have Finale Notepad installed on the computer you're working on. If you have a different version of Finale, these directions will be close to your version, but there may be some slight differences. You can open Finale Notepad by clicking on the Start Menu Windows logo, and then All Programs, and then find Finale Notepad in your list, and click to open it. When the program starts, you may be presented with a series of boxes asking for additional information. Just click the red X in the corner of each of these boxes so that we can bypass them and go ahead into setting up your song. Okay, once these boxes have gone by, we're ready to begin. We've now arrived at the uh, first window, our document setup wizard, our first box. In this box, you're going to enter two pieces of information. First will be the title for your song, and second will be the name of the composer, that's the songwriter. For the title for this example, I'm just going to put my song, and for composer, I'll just simply put in my name. Once that information is entered, we'll click next to move on to the second box. We're now on setup step two. In this step, you will pick the instrument for your song. There are a variety of instruments you can choose from. Some will sound more realistic than others as the computer tries to reproduce the sounds. For this example, we're going to say we're going to use the B-flat trumpet. So to pick your instrument, you first go onto the left-hand column. You'll need to know which instrument family your chosen instrument is in. You'll click that family. Here I'll pick the brass family. Then we'll move into the middle column, and I will click once on B-flat trumpet. And we'll slide over here and click Add to add the B-flat trumpet to our song. You could add a number of instruments depending on what you're writing. For our example, we're just simply going to add one instrument, as that's what's necessary for the class project. To continue, we'll click Next. We're now on to step three of three, and this is some setup information for your blank sheet music. This box has several important things you'll need to make sure are correct. First, you're going to need to pick a time signature. These are the numbers at the beginning of your song that will determine how many beats are in each measure and what note gets one count. For this example, as with the music project in Mr. Query's class, we will select 4-4. You do that simply by clicking on it once. Next, we're going to pick the number of measures we want our song to be. If you're not sure how long your song will be, just leave it as is. Finale will automatically have filled in 31 measures. Finally, you'll be selecting the key signature for your song. For the key of your song, you're going to want to make sure you select the right key so your song will be in the correct key that you wish it to be. This can sometimes be a confusing concept. To pick flat keys, you'll click the down arrow, you'll see all the flat keys appear, and you click the up key, up arrow to change to sharp keys. Now depending on the instrument you pick, the key you select here may differ from the one that you actually want to have in your song. This is because different instruments are tuned in different keys. For example, many clarinets and trumpets are in the key of B flat, and many alto saxophones are in the key of E flat. What this means is if you play a C on a trumpet and a C on an alto saxophone, you're not going to hear the same note. For this example, let's say our finished song is going to be in C major. Since this may be a confusing concept, 
Let me give you a little bit of a pattern to help you figure out the correct key for your instrument. If your instrument is in the key of C, such as a flute, trombone, or piano, pick the same key that you want your song to be. If your instrument is in the key of B-flat, such as trumpet, clarinet, or tenor saxophone, pick the key one whole step lower than you want your song to be. For example, if you want your finished song to be in C major, you would pick B flat major, which is one whole step below C. If your instrument is in the key of E flat, such as alto saxophone, you would pick the key one and a half steps higher than you want your song to be. So again, example, if we want our finished song to be in C major, here in finale, we would pick E flat. You may need to look at a musical staff, a list of pitches, or even get some assistance with this step to make sure you pick the correct key. Based on the instrument we've selected, which is the B-flat trumpet, we'll need to change the key in this box to get the correct key in the end. And since the trumpet we picked is in B-flat, we will go one whole step below C major, which is B-flat major. Once we've selected the key B-flat major, we'll click Finish. And in a matter of seconds, a blank piece of electronic sheet music is now available for you to enter music into. To get you started, let's cover the basic functions for song entry. On the toolbar, whether it appears on the top or the side of your window, you'll see notes, rests, and other symbols that you can put in your music. We're going to focus right now on entering notes and rests. To put notes and rests in your music, you simply click on the note or rest that you want, go down onto your sheet music, and click where you want the note to go. Let's put something in the first measure. For this example, we're going to put a half note, followed by a quarter note, and then a quarter note rest. So first, I'll go up onto the toolbar and find the half note, and click to make sure it is selected. When I come down below, onto my blank music paper, you'll see that a half note is ready to be placed in the music. And I'll click where I want that to go. And for this example, I'll put it on the top space for an E. It's nice finale will even play the uh, concert pitch of the note for you. Next, to put in a quarter note, I'll go up to the toolbar, click quarter note, and again come down below where I want that to go. We'll go to the third space for a C and I'll click to put it in the quarter note. And finally, I want a quarter rest, so I'll go up to the toolbar, click the quarter rest, and again come down and right next to where these two notes were, click to drop in the quarter rest. And the first measure is now complete and you're well on your way to inputting your song into Finale Notepad. There are a lot of other things you can do to spice up your song, such as adding dynamics, changing tempo, or even putting in articulations. But we'll stop here for now. Don't forget to save your song so that you don't lose any of your work. You do that by clicking on the file menu, and then choosing the word save. You pick the location where you would want your song to go, give it a name, and then click save. This gives you good basic foundation for composing with Finale Notepad.